Hi guys, good evening. Let's have uh, some serious talk, a real talk about life, <laughs> about loving, about, um, shall I say, how to survive a heartbreak, how to survive um, frustration or a defeat. Um, maybe, no, maybe we should just discuss about a focus on how to survive a heartbreak. Um, marami kasing mga pangyayari sa buhay at alam ko marami rin ang makakarelate sa aking sinasabi. Uh, ang tao kasi umiibig. Ang tao ay nagmamahal. At ang tao ay na may tinatangi. And ang naniniwala ako na ang pag-ibig ay hindi pinipilit sa'yo. At wala rin yung tamang panahon. Darating yan sa'yo na hindi mo inaasahan minsan. Darating yan sa'yo na hindi mo rin alam kung kailan at kung saan. Kaya naman... Um, I think love is an uh, is a very wonderful feeling because you don't ask it and then you don't ask for it and then it came it comes to you. And then for me love is not necessarily asking to be loved in return, no. But if he loves or she loves in return that's a bonus. That would be great. And uh, over course of time uh we have not matured in loving eh. <laughs> no we we cannot say we are masters in loving actually karamihan fools hindi marunong magmahal uh, but then ako ang call ko lagi dyan eh when you love someone you love him or her with all your heart you give him or her whatever he needs and you give all your might i think kahit naman saan in labor you must give whatever you could give you must have that strength to give and willingness to give and ako naniniwala dun sa ano eh yung uh leaving something for yourself of course Kailangan mo namang may tira sa sarili mo. Pero pag mahal mo, ibibigay mo lahat yan. Di ba? Lahat. Hindi ko sinasabing sexual. Hindi yon Ang sinasabi ko ay ang buhay, ang pagkakataon, ang pagmamahal, ang pagtatangi, at ang pag-aaruga. Pero, hindi rin natin maintindihan, ano? Although, ano, I, I know by my with my age right now, I can understand but probably when you're young, you, you don't understand. And if you're not good in handling it, you will really break down and you will really, shall I say, yeah, break down. <laughs> Matutulala ka at hindi mo rin alam ko anong iyong gagawin. So, anong advice ko <laughs> sa mga tao na, at tika muna, sandali. Hindi kasi lahat ng taong na in love ay end up happily ever after. Maraming nai-in-love na hindi nagkakatuluyan. Yung pinagtakpo pero hindi tinadhana. Di ba? Maraming ganon. At saka maraming nai-in-love na wala sa tamang panahon. Meron din ganon. Maraming nai-in-love na one-way ticket to the blues. <laughs> Yun lang isa ang nagmamahal sa'yo. Uh, ako, ikaw lang pala nagmamahal sa'yo. Parang tipong mahal kita, mahal mo siya, mahal niya ay iba. No? So, uh, ano ang take ko doon? Uh, huwag kang manghinayang. Kasing importante, nagmahal ka, naranasan mo. Di ba? Pangalawa, na dumaan siya sa buhay mo. That you, dumaan siya in a way na um, naibahagi mo ang parte ng buhay mo. Kaya nga lagi ko sinasabi eh, na ibigay mo lahat ng kaya mong ibigay na pagmamahal at pag-aaruga. Kasi, bakit ka papasok sa isang bagay na hindi ka naman buo ang damdamin? Di ba? So, dapat ibigay mo siya. 
na walang kondisyon. Walang hatred, walang inggit, walang selos, walang lahat. Lahat ng panguunawa, lahat ng pagmamahal, lahat yan ibigay mo. But then again, as I said, not all live happily ever after. There are, sabi nga nilang isang kanta, the trouble with hello is goodbye. Maraming kailangang magpaalam. Maraming kailangang mag-end. O minsan, wala nga paalaman eh. Iniiwan na lang. Yung tinatawag na ghost. Ghost, uh, hunt, ghosting, something. <laughs> Malimit, malimit gano'n. May ibang mga gano'n. So ngayon, how do you, sige, dami kong background. How do you survive a heartbreak? First, number one, be grateful. No matter what happens, be grateful. Gratitude is an attitude of the heart. Be grateful. Nagmahal ka, hindi eh, ba? So be grateful. Naging masaya ka, di ba? So be grateful. Naibahagi mo ang buhay mo, di ba? So be grateful. Number one, be grateful. Number two, accept. Tanggapin mo yan. Tanggapin mo yan. Ang pagmamahal ay hindi lang hindi lang tiniisip mo ang sarili mo. No, in fact, ang pagmamahal ay hindi mo nga iniisip ang sarili mo. Ang iniisip mo ay kabutihan ng tao na minamahal mo. So, tanggapin mo yan kasi talagang ganyan. Hindi lahat nag end up na kayo. So, tanggapin mo yan. <laughs> Wala choice. Tanggapin mo yan. Pangatlo ay Huwag kang magtanim ng kahit anong galit o sa manloob. Patuloy kang magmahal. Huwag kang mag-iisip ng masama. Huwag kang magsasayta ng masama. Kung iniwang ka, masakit, oo. Pero pag nagmamahal ka, kaya mo yung tiisin. Kaya mo yung i-bear. Pang-apat ay magpahinga mo ng puso mo. <laughs> Huwag ka kagad magmahal. Kasi baka yung mamahalin mo, eh di baka rebound, di ba? Kawawa naman siya. So, you are um, a good person. So, maya mo lang. Pursue your other interests. Mag-aral ka, mag magluto ka, mag... Ang dami yung pwedeng gawin. Magtrabaho ka ng maayos and all that. Ang dami yung pwedeng gawin. Mag-travel ka, magpagupit ka, magpaganda ka. <laughs> so, yun. Uh, move on with your life but don't fall in love at once. Immediately. The fifth is forgive. You know, forgiveness is a gift to yourself. At saka, huwag mo naman laging isipin na siya lahat ng may kasalanan. Maaring may pagkukulang din sa iyo. Okay? So, forgiveness is on not only forgiving him or her, but forgiving yourself as well. So that you could move on, you could start your life anew, and uh, you could start a new lifestyle, a life line, actually, milestone in your life. A new journey. Life, sabi nga ni Paolo Coelho, ano? Life is a journey. Dere-derecho lang. Lakad ka lang. Lakad. So maybe you will ask, will you ever love again when you fall, when you break, ano? Had a break. Ano ba yun? Broken, got broken hearted? Of course. Pero wag naman yung kaagad. At saka wag mo nang pilitin. Be sure that when you fall in love again, it's really fa- falling in love. And so that's why it will take time. For me, ah, it will take time. So that's, those are the key words that I want to, to tell you. Ano sabi ko? Ah, nalimutan ko na. <laughs> Number one, no, one, two is accept. Three is never say anything about the person. Ah, number one is be grateful. Two is accept. Three is never say anything about the person. Four is, huwag ka namang ma-inlove ka agad. Magpahinga naman ang puso mo. There is dignity in waiting. And then fifth is, forgive. Forgive. And sixth is, move on. Carry on with your life. Life is good. You are a person of the universe and you have a right to be here. 
and you are a person of love, you're a person, you're a gift from heaven, you're a child of God, and as such, you have a right to be here. Let your tears flow. Let have that one last cry. But you must accept, you must be grateful, you must accept, you must not say something ill about the person, be grateful, and then you forgive, and then you move on and carry on. Life is good. You are good. You are perfect. You are perfect. You are a gift from heaven. You have the right to love and be loved. And you know what the Dalai Lama said? The ultimate purpose in life is to be happy. So stay happy. Stay in love. Be good and be kind. God bless. And that's my wisdom for tonight. How to survive a break or a how to survive a broken heart. How to survive a breakup. How to survive and not be affected. Hindi naman not be affected by when you got broken heart. May nakatadhana para sa'yo. May darating na soulmate para sa'yo. Intayin mo lang. Meron. God bless you. Good evening. Ma.